hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name's jason newland this is relax and sleep hypnosis daily please only listen when you can safely close your eyes i have still got a bit of a chest infection uh, and earlier I tried to make some recordings and couldn't because I was coughing. So what I've done is I've opened the windows quite wide. Normally I close them when I do a recording. And I've got air coming in here. Which means there's background sound. So I'm telling you right at the beginning, you know, if the background sounds too much, then uh, I understand, you know, if you want to, and do something a bit more interesting but um, I personally don't think it needs to make any difference the reason I say that is because I have done in the past or I have provided in the past a at the very minute let's say a relaxation session to people in a hospital environment and however strange it may seem but hospitals are probably about the noisiest places you could ever be um when really they should be one of the quietest places you should be. You know, as far as healing, <laughs> you know, someone's just had an operation or someone's very ill. A bit of peace, a bit of quietness, a bit of calm. But, you know, that's not been my experience as a visitor in a hospital. Um, it's not how I remember it, though, when I was, I've been in a hospital twice as a kid. I'm pretty sure it's quite peaceful at night, but yeah, it's not, it's not, in my experience as an adult, I uh, haven't visited quite a few people, so basically, what I'm trying to say is please listen, don't worry, don't let the background trains and tractors and hovercraft uh, falling out of the sky, getting away of this Bermuda Triangle of a recording session. And I actually, seriously, I once did a hypnosis session with someone who was in hospital for very, you know, as serious as it, as it can be, basically. And he had to have a procedure. End of life. But he had to have a procedure to for his own physical comfort. And he wouldn't have it done without me going there and seeing him. And doing hypnosis with him. But it was the noisiest environment ever. It was just, what on earth are you doing? Honestly, I thought they were holding a circus at one point. It did not bother him at all. There could have been a lion tamer in the next bed. He didn't care. Because he was focused on himself. Focused on his stomach. Focused on my words. And that's the thing about hypnosis is... It's just a focus. You know, too much perhaps. And it's probably... Maybe my doing, in a way, is I perhaps make too much of wanting it to be quiet. Because I want it to be quiet, for me. You know, just... Well, I want it to be quiet for you as well. But what I'm going to do is just talk to you. I'm not going to do... Anything but just talk to you as a human being talking to another human being. 
And what I want you to know, do is to notice two things. I'd like you to notice first of it, first of all, your relaxation level. And secondly, secondly, your level of sleepiness. Not sleepiness in a sense of hypnosis, you are sleepy, but in a sense of your own sleepiness. Now, people listen to these, this podcast, not everybody wants to go to sleep. Some people want to just relax. Some people only want to sleep. So those of you that are listening because you intend to just let go of everything and fall asleep. Because it's your intention. And it doesn't matter if there's a train in the distance. Because the weird thing is, if you listen to this recording regularly, like daily for like a month or three months, every time you hear that train go by on the recording, you'll find yourself just drifting along with the train almost like the train is taking you away taking you further away into that sense of dreaming and drifting and that motorbike on the motorway can you hear that Just me saying the word relax as you listen to that bike disappearing. Again, if you're listening to this, you know, maybe in the future, this might be like the fifth, fifteenth time you've listened and you just drop down completely relaxed because you're so used to me saying you know as you hear that bike that motorbike in the distance you'll just drop down completely relaxed by drop down I mean completely relaxed And then hearing me describe the word drop down will be like another trigger to just like, oh, just it's almost like it's, even if you're wanting to just relax and not fall asleep, just the level of comfort that fills your body is just amazing. I mean, you may even have a sense of pleasure which you don't really know why but it does it matter why you feel good for no good reason why not feel good it beats the alternative doesn't it there's going to be a, a dog barking now I predict. So this recording, in and of itself, is like, like a movie, or a sound recording of a moment in time. And it isn't sterile. It's not just recorded with complete silence without any without any color. This is a vibrant 
recording full of energy I say the energy not a huge amount of energy coming from me <laughs> quite relaxed calm energy I'd say from me but all those vibrations moving through the air all those birds communicating there's a little ferret just over there on the floor asleep <laughs> and his tail is, seems to be awake so he's asleep and his tail moves on its own notice your level of comfort right now oh another train I like the sounds of birds I do. But you know what I notice when I feel relaxed? I no longer seem to distinguish between the sounds I guess it almost seems to turn into a kind of orchestra I suppose it would the closest thing would be kind of like a jazz orchestra where every now and then <laughs> it just goes off and starts you got the birds Even if the windows weren't open and there wasn't all these sounds. can actually just feel nice to just sit and 
just not do anything. Do you know what I mean? Just to sit or lie down. Feel my shoulders really relaxing. My mind feels very Very calm. Very calm. I don't know why. There's a sense of happiness. I'm feeling almost feels if I'm connecting to you and all the different people listening all connecting together on a very peaceful comfortable feeling of Just letting go. Almost as if nothing is needed, everything is available. As I try and focus on my mind and any thoughts 
there's just nothing going on. birds in the loft have started to wake up which is weird considering it's 7.49pm there's more bird activity now than there was 12 hours ago feeling of comfort and relaxation and connection has spread all over my body background sounds just now become part of me Getting the sensation of like air blowing through me. Just cleaning away, blowing away the dust. A certain sensation in my right shoulder, a place that I had problems with for years, but I've not thought about for a while. Uh, 
So it feels almost like this healing, healing actually being performed on my shoulder as I speak. Like this activity there. I wonder if I can focus some of that healing on my lower back. Admittedly, my lower back feels absolutely fine right now. As does the rest of my body. I've got a, a sensation in my stomach. Almost like it's wanting my attention. Give my attention to that part. Maybe there's a part of you that's needing your attention and Just by giving it your attention, it just calms down and seems to be satisfied. But to be, you know, just to make sure everything's okay, we can send some healing to that part. Allow that healing to just do its job unencumbered. And I'm just going to focus and send some healing to my lower back, even though it's feeling absolutely fine and very, really relaxed. In fact, I can't even feel it, to be fair. Which is a complete opposite to what it's normally like. And maybe there's a part that you would like to send some healing to. So I sent that healing to my lower back. And... Is it like a slight itchiness there? Not enough to want to scratch it, but just that slight itchy feeling that comes with healing. You know, when you've got a part of your body and it might just be a cut, but at some point it gets itchy. And you know the healing is really working.
I've really enjoyed this. I felt uh, I felt a connection happening. What I'm going to do is, it might, I might be the only one that feels the connection. But if there's more people that felt it, perhaps this is something that we could do again. Do more of this kind of work where we connect with each other and relax together. Sending that healing to each other. And there was a time years ago when if I'd have heard this, I'd have thought, what the heck are you talking about, you silly Billy? What do you mean sending healing? What, in the post? <laughs> you sent an email? But you know what? We are able to communicate. And energy is a fact. Yeah, everything's made of energy and I know it's an old cliche now, but can you imagine that over a hundred years ago radio signals were discovered? you could be hundreds of miles away or even 10 miles away from an aerial and you could listen to the music or to the talking on that radio or they used to call it wireless of course the wireless now is a different term We do connect. Now we are stronger together. We can also be more relaxed together. Heal together. don't actually want to win the recording <coughs> it feels so nice something else I just noticed is I don't feel alone right now. I feel as if there's like a, a definite guaranteed connection. I know that people are going to be listening to this on the podcast and some people will be watching on YouTube. I just feel, I really feel something quite uh, I'm 
trying to find the words, but I don't know how to explain it. It's a feeling. I guess contentment. Not wanting anything. Peaceful. Feel it too. Notice it seems like the background sound has almost increased. So maybe that's a sign to bring this to an end. This recording, this video. But there will be a version with music as well which will last two hours. Well, I might not do that because I've got the background sounds. I'll see, see how I feel. for listening or watching make sure that 
you do something nice for yourself today or tomorrow be kind to yourself you deserve to be happy and to feel wonderful lots of love